Hey there team, so this is a 3v3 from last night. I'm playing as Numenor on Anphalas. So, on my left, I've got Lister uh, playing as Angmar, and on my right, uh, Katunga playing as Umbar. I've gone for, I guess, pretty similar to the last time, but just with the addition of Cav. Uh, two Belgar archers up front, an armor upgrade for both of them. Uh, behind them, two units of Belagar footmen, again with an armor upgrade. Pikemen, Belagar pikes, uh, two units of them. And then in the center, some sentinels. And then some Romena infantry, three units of them there. Uh, some Royal Legion of Armenolos, and some Romena bowmen in the back. Also the Royal Guard, and lastly some seafarers. Then for my cav, I have the Fires of Nobles. So I've gone for, as I say, melee upgrade for all of my Romana infantry and my pikes. Uh, lots of armor upgrades over here, and actually I think some armor upgrades for my for my Belagar pikes too. If they can receive them, then I've put them on definitely. But yeah, so lots of upgrades. Um, there were a few changes when I was making this army. Sort of uh, made it a few times. We had a we had a crash or two, so I. Uh, yeah, bit of a hodgepodge, but it, it makes sense, I think. Perhaps I shouldn't have dumped so many upgrades, gotten a different unit, but um, this is, you know, we've got what we've got there. Umbar here has the Warlords of Umbar on his left flank, then a very sturdy line of Alcarondas Legion mixed in with the Belgar Pikes. In the back here, some Shield Guard, some Harbringers of Castamere, and some more Shield Guard. Corsair Infantry, Corsair Infantry and some sentinels and some Balakith marksmen. So yeah, that's a really sturdy formation and then the sentinels there to just mix in wherever you need them. He's not finished deploying just yet, but he's just about. Uh, Lister, again, I'm pretty sure we'll know what he's bringing. Uh, some inquisitors, some wargs, some wargs over here. Oh, yeah, wargs over there. Some snaga, hiding somewhere. Uh, Trolls of Angmar. Then guardians. Halberds, pikes, pikes, halberds, guardians. Yeah, good. <sighs> Hello, Basil. Um, some hammer guard there. And then up the front, we'll have snagger archers, goblin trackers, more snagger archers, and then the barrel lights. So we'll go back up normal speed. Um, I thought we were slightly closer. Basil's just crawling over my bed now. Uh, he's trying to get up into the windowsill, but... Uh, open the curtains a little bit for him. There you go, Basil. Cats will be bothering me uh, today because the parents are away, so um, I have their full attention. Which is, of course, lovely. Um, against us here, we have Mordor, two Mordors, and a Run, actually. So that's that's kind of cool. It's, uh, I find you don't usually see like two of the same armies in 3v3s, so... Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a nice change of pace. Uh, we were originally trying to do a 4v4, but we ended up um, having someone crash out, and then we tried it again, and someone lagged out, so we were just, um, I think, as I say, this was this was about third try. Um, we've got Komar uh, up front, Orc Archers, and Moranon Archers, nice and spread out. Halberd line here, two of them. Then Infantry, four units of Moranon Infantry. Uh, Sauron's Will, some Melkor's Chosen, some Inquisitors, the Oleg High, and then two units of Blackguard, which, you know, you don't really see Blackguard on the on open field too much, but, uh, yeah, they, they can serve their purposes, good quality line infantry. Burgershot, here, with Rune, uh, he's got some Horse Guard on both of his flanks, some Eastron Warriors, I thought this was kind of strange, <laughs> I didn't really under, oh no, I, I, I see what he's going for here, but yeah, Eastron Warriors on his flanks, and then the center, Scion Rim, then Nara Rim behind them, then Flag Rim at the back. Camels chosen there, Ennis Rim, and the Dragon Knights. So yeah, it's all uh, all pretty packed up together, but um, then, again, Mordor, Silver Flamingo, who is, as you can sort of see by his pretty brisk movement there, he's probably going for a if not a rush, then a pretty rapid advance. Orc fodder there, Bolokai. Orc maulers, mixing it in the back. Some more on halberds in that line. Some more on archers in the back. Temple guard as well. 
orc archers, some shadow bows, a bit frightening, especially for a phallic formation. Black guard, born on archers, and Melkor's chosen. So, all in all, they definitely have the cav advantage. We've got two very powerful units of cav, and the wargs. I guess, yeah, to be honest, we've got wargs, inquisitors. It's it's kind of even, I'd say, but it's um, still pretty. A lot of cav on the field, a lot of expensive cav, not really numbers of cav. Uh, that was again one of my Discord beeps. Um, so, I saw him moving, and I took that as a as a rush. So, that's why actually, I did actually move in the beginning. I was very... Um, I'm not really built for rushing my enemy, uh, but I can do if I have to. So, I decided to lurch forward because I saw that Lester was doing it on my flank. And um, I, as I say, I felt that Mordor was going to be pushing toward Umbar. Corsair infantry will be picking away at these guys, especially if they can land some shots in the Orc Maulers. Warlords of Umbar could ram everything here. Now, um, Komar. This is something that is a risk uh, when you're playing up against, well, when you're using Barrow Whites, is when your enemy can just you know, that's, um, they can just outpace you so easily, and this is another issue with you know, these incredibly wide formations I was talking about. They're so good in, in an actual battle, um, when you do get, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with people, but to shift this entire army now takes so long, and that's, that is a risk. So, now... I moved up forward because what I've got a sight on here are these unshielded Eastrom warriors. We'll slow down a bit because there is stuff happening. And yeah, like they've got armor, but they've got no shields, and I'm picking off quite a few of them with nice cheap archers. And I'm also sort of making them fire his shadow bows. So I was chuffed with that overall. He comes in for a charge with his horse guard. I kind of want that. I want to delete these calves. So. Again, you know, I let them get a little bit closer, wanting to just catch them with my fires of nobles, but it didn't work out, so that was too bad. But he is very good with this. He, he does this, I probably won't catch it every time, but he keeps doing this. And he keeps having to make me readjust my archers to just really stop me competing in the skirmish engagement here, which is, is clever. Like, he's really, I don't think he's even got any real attention, intention to charge me. He's just, uh, he's just trying to scare me. Um, Mordor, again, yeah, they've moved up. Corsair, Corsair Infantry, sorry, out of ammunition, they don't have much. Take some shots with Warlords, but they'll be able to shrug that off, especially if they're coming out from the front, but they're heading this back right now. So I see that this is happening, and I, I'm definitely not charging now. <laughs> so I'm just going to be I'm gonna be waiting for the minute. But Komar is going for a pretty wild movement here. Yeah, he has uh, he's grabbed everything up and they're moving on down now. And they will get down here pretty quick, but the Barrow Whites, even with their changes, the Barrow Whites are still not fast. So Orc Archers forming up on my side. I'm okay, I'm more than happy for them to, to loose all the arrows they want into my Belagar units, just as long as they don't hit my pikes. I'm happy. So the thing is here, we've got the Warlords and we've got the Fires of Nobles. Two very good quality cav, um, and good at taking out other cav. So I felt, you know, I did feel that we had this this area covered. And with my with my footmen, the horse guard don't have a great charge on them. They are anti cav, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, they do have a charge. They're spear cav, but um, yeah. And now, to be honest, for for all this, you know, for all my shit talking. Lister has been able to actually reform really quite quick. Um, it's still, I I don't have the coordination to sort of do this. Uh, Lister is a very skilled guy, and he can sort of just grab himself and immediately, you know, move his wide formation. But it's much easier for me to be compact and uh, shift around. Yeah. Ah. So Warlords of Umbar missed it, but they went toe to toe with these Melkor's chosen. And um, they're still fighting over there, or not. But yeah, it's, it's pretty chaotic here. And now, what Umbar needs is a nice face-to-face -face formation fight. 
and that's not really what he's being given here. But you are seeing individual engagements, he is pulling it through, it's just where the trolls are, and uh, yeah, it's just really where the trolls are that he's really starting to struggle. Orc Mauler's already running from the fight. They might come back. Horse Guard have come over here to help out. And I see this engagement. Actually, no, it was over here. Yeah, so I charged in just to try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of these Horse Guard. I felt I'd easily mince through them with my Pharisims. But, uh, the Melkor's chosen. They'll be able to mince me. As good as the Pharisim nobles are, they, they just can't match the, the Melkor's chosen. So I, I have to flee, and this is, uh, I've lost about 10 of them there. And overall, I did feel bad, because I, I basically left Umbar entirely alone now. Which is unfortunate. But I just can't risk, I need my fires and nobles. So I can't risk losing them for, for very little gain. So Lester has formed up over here, but the issue is, these arrows are all the way back there. Engagements over here, Cav v Cav. Warg Riders gonna do pretty nicely, but Temple Inquisitors will beat them. Witch Realm Inquisitors though, but Witch Realm Inquisitors are going to toe to toe with these Melkors chosen, so. Very anti Cav engagements. Uh, Trolls of Angmar will definitely sway that in our favour. Warg Riders though have just started to rout. Very scary enemies here. So the phalanxes have engaged, and these pikes will... Oh, oh, it doesn't look good for them right now. I really would expect these pikes to win the day. Perhaps they'll need a quick minute, but uh, but they should start to win that. More on infantry, though, flooding forward. But uh, exactly sort of what you want, flooding forward right into your pike line. What well, we got fighting here? Some wargs came in for a quick charge against these infantry. Definitely would have mowed down quite a few of them, as you can see. Shadow bows, Ooh, firing. And that looks like it was a cancelled shot. Shadow guard over there. So they're doing quite a good job here at fighting together. Now Lister has engaged fully now, so I need to start moving up. Now the issue is, with this situation now, it's, it is totally Lister and I versus Komar and Burgershot and we've entirely sort of left this engagement to our side with Burgershot still throwing his uh, horse guard around to be a pain in the ass to Wombar. You can see, as I say, the infantry engagement has definitely gone in, in Umbar's favour here. Even with these trolls, you know, these trolls are gone now. But there's still so many archers still on the field. The shadow bows are still around. And, uh, Bolakai. But the issue is the milk was chosen. And the horse, the horse guard, of course. So this main line is very much in Lister's favour. But, uh,. I need to engage this flank because um, we just need to turn it and get around the side. And this big mob of more non infantry just can't be can't really be allowed to, to come around the side if this little force here breaks. So I grab these pikes uh, along with a unit of uh, Romana infantry. I felt that this will easily crush this position. My archers, of course, still firing away at anything unshielded. Eastern warriors were my main target. Over on this flank, I managed to catch his Ennis Rim, my Fires of Nobles. This is a very good fight for them. Ennis Rim are quite expensive guys, so this is not really a unit you want to lose. Our men have slain the enemy general. So that looks like it was, well that was one of the Mordor generals taken out. Looked like he was with some Temple Inquisitors, so... Olakai have come in to sort of help finish that. Wargs versus a very... Oh, no. Yeah, very depleted unit of Temple Inquisitors. The wargs should do a pretty good job there, but Sauron's Well might come in to fix it for them. Yeah, engagement all the way along here now is is looking like it's in Lester's favour. Archers picking away at the pipeline. So I've engaged here now. 
cutting through the Eastern Warrior quite nicely. More and more on reinforcements coming in. But I've got my bowmen still with ammunition. Bows right now, of course, I'm wanting to go for the... I'm actually aiming for the camels chosen at the minute. Well, I'm not aiming for anything, but I'm looking at the camels chosen as a possible target. Poor riders, they're routing off. See, uh, this is really... I waited too long. I allowed him to get quite a few volleys off. I only sent over part of my force when really I should have engaged this part immediately. And then everything else, as soon as I had done that, started moving up to engage Grun's main line. Because I can beat Grun's main line. My, my men are, you know, these are Roman infantry. They'll easily mop that up. Ennis Rim are still standing. There's still a few of them left. I didn't actually spot this charge happening. Yeah, that was pretty good. But um, getting caught by my pikes there that are moving up. So that'll hurt them. Umbar fight. Yeah, you can see, sir. Umbar is really. I would say he's won over here overall, but the Melkor's chosen surviving have. Uh, and some of these Umbar. these Orc Mollers coming back. Yeah, see, that's just the death. 29 Melkor's chosen will not go down easy, not at this stage in the fight. Where are. Oh. Yeah, that was Umbar's general taken out there. So we're at 45 for 50 now. Just my Belgar footman running through. Just trying to wipe through this force here so I can keep moving forward. Engaging the main line now. Getting shot like hell from the side. But surely these Narum can't have much ammo left. I still should have engaged them probably. Just taken. Instead of doing this, I should have engaged that side. Siren Rim coming in. I do have more infantry moving up to engage them. We'd won here. Uh, good, I was I was a bit slow after we had broken that position. I should have moved up a bit faster. Mordor here. Entirely broken on this flank. Black Guard, 101 Black Guard. They will definitely be coming back. Royal Guard taking shots. They've got shields, they've got decent armor. Seafarers going into the flank of the Scion Ren, but the Dragon Knights of it have turned up, so I immediately grab them and try to turn their focus. Ah, damn, you see, okay, no, I let them get one more volley off and then I spotted them, so you can see they are turning around. I get off, I get off a decent little bit of volleys, but doesn't do much to the Dragon Knights. That charge could have been worse, as bad as that looked, it could have been a lot worse for me. Get the Balgar Archers. I'm just wanting to catch these guys. Every hit I can do that counts right now. Only half the enemy force remains. And my fires of nobles right now are really running low. Getting the Ennis Rem dealt with. So this position here, for a minute, infantry are actually having a bit of difficulty. See, so then I unloaded more javelins. Perhaps what I should have done there was just held my javelins at this point. Eight, oh look, hi. Ah, yes, yeah, so they've come all the way around me now. I think that's the seafarers out of ammunition now, actually. Yeah. Men infantry still taking more ammunition. Jeepers. Force guard here getting engaged by uh, a few pikes and my nobles. They should mop them up. So even though Silver Flamingo has lost most of his infantry in this fight with Umbar, he's still got archers. And against our sort of pretty depleted units over here, a few archer volleys can do a lot. Yeah, I see, so I probably should have grabbed these guys and just thrown them in to engage. I've got my pikes moving up to do that, but... The Dragon Knights. That's still 31 Dragon Knights. I've got my bowmen firing away at them whenever they can get a shot. How clear a shot of the game? A few people are firing straight up. Yeah, they had just run out of our range, I think. So yeah, so you see these these units sort of that's the hammer guard there from Lester. Receiving a charge. He's trying to form up to try and counter these uh, these dragon knights, but it's pretty tough. Barrow Whites have arrived. 
63 for 68 at that point, but uh, these Olakai, uh, they're bloodied, but there's still a lot of them left. Flygram here gets surrounded, but now that the Camel's Chosen have turned up, that's an issue. Royal Legion of our men are lost, just try to break this break this unit here, but they're very good morale. Dragon Knight's still on 31, they're just not going down easy. Let's just go as Pikes, just chasing them down wherever he can. Royal Guard, I think I was just trying to... I know it's not the best use, uh, well the best way to try to take them down, but... Just a quick volley into the Olakai, just to try to do something. Managed to break that, just swarming around him now. Any Umbar boys left? Not really, I think uh, there's a few. They will keep fighting away, but uh, any Umbar forces will have been getting you know, charged away uh, by these Melkor's Chosen for, for quite some time now. Orc Archers out of ammunition now, but that's still, you know, 200 men. 150 men, 150 men, it's it's just numbers really. Which for my exhausted boys, this is uh, not e not too easy to just cut through. Olakai, down to three, they are starting to drop now. So now that that position was broken, I had to uh, had to start protecting myself from the Dragon Knights. I've got Belgar footmen and I've got my Sentinels. If I catch them, then they'll, they'll, they will be dissolved. But, uh, Oh, you see, I just let him get past me there. Yeah, you see, I formed up there, focused on something else, and he managed to get by. So that with, with that one charge, he sort of managed to turn that around. I saw that I wasn't going to catch him, so I just tried to get a volley into his back. My pikes here, I think I tried to turn my pikes around. I should have anyway. Ah, no, they broke. Broke too fast. Oh, you see, yes, that's bloody curtains there. Royal Legion come in, grab one of them. Orc archers will get sliced through by them. Camels chosen there, doing pretty nicely, but Remain Infantry will not go down too easy, even to a unit like the Camels chosen. Two of those milkers chosen right there. My pikes have returned. I don't know if I noticed that. I might have. They seem to be reforming. Yeah, just trying to chase away the last of the guardians by the looks of things. Colmar's coming in to back up this front line now. Oh, right. See, ah, oh, dang. I thought he was going to go for it. That could have been a good. Uh, yeah, uh, so just with these uh, with these dragon knights, he's just able to to sort of run circles around us. I can't leave units in reserve now. I have to have things engaging on the front line. So it's uh, sentinels being charged by these olakai. Sentinels are good, and they will be able to beat these last two olakai, but um, it keeps them locked up, so they can't be fighting dragon knights. They just pop up the speed now. So for me, this is the main engagement now. My Royal Guard are spears, so every time he comes in I'm able to get a few stabs off. But then I have to sort of turn around, focus back on the enemy. Comes in again, get a few more stabs, but I'm really running low on guys now. Sentinels just slicing through, but they're surrounded on all sides now, really, with the Melkor's Chosen. They show their backs to the enemy as well for a bit. That's not good. And yeah, so it's pretty clear where this is going now. Uh, but uh, I think it all really did come down to being unable to deal with those Dragon Knights. I think had I... Uh, had I saved some of those... Seafarers volleys. I don't think I needed to wipe out those Scion Rim as fast as I did. 
Uh, it was very helpful to do that, but I, I just don't think it was necessary. I think they should have held their ammunition. To be honest, I was a bit disappointed with the fires and nobles. Um, as, as expensive as they are, I, I really wanted them to just hack and slash their way through uh, a lot of enemy cav. Like, the horse guard really, they were able to stand them for a bit, and I just feel like, you know, I guess horse guard are, of course, anti cap themselves, so that's fair enough. And, but I, uh, I thought it would be enough. But had I, if I could go back, I would have probably gone with the, the nobles instead. Got in the, uh, got in the just Romana cav. Uh, that would have just got me a bit of money to grab something else. Just because uh, then, as well, I'd have a charge bonus, which is helpful. You know, charging other cav before you start stabbing them is good. Um. Because yeah, I just uh, I don't know. I, I I knew that they would never be able to match the uh, yeah. Now the barrel white tool they'll be lasting a while, but yeah, um, I knew that they'd never be able to stand a chance against the Melkor's chosen. But I still I was I was a bit disappointed with them to be honest. Uh, apart from that, Romana archers, I I did primarily focus on the dragon knights and the Campbell's Chosen, but they've only got five shots. I think had I saved all five of those shots for the uh, for the Dragon Knights, that could have been better. Uh, I think the Camel's Chosen got about three of them. Not the Camel's Chosen, the Dragon Knights only got about three of them, which isn't enough. Uh, but apart from that, I would have liked to have taken the battle a bit slower, but we really just needed to... Uh, we needed to get stuck in. You know, we had a, um, we had a pretty, we had a, we had a cool, like, like nice close 2v2 going for a good bit of that, and, um, which was fair, but no, I, I definitely would have, I felt that I was doing exactly what I wanted to do in the archer engagement, you know, I was, I was hitting some of his unshielded units, and he was loosing a lot of ammunition on to just my archers and my Belagar footmen, and that's exactly what they're for, whereas, you know, when I got stuck in, he managed to get a lot of those, uh, uh the something rim, the, uh, I don't really know what the archers are called again, but, uh, he managed to get a lot of ammunition from them onto my pikes and onto my Romana infantry. Romana infantry to the front are not going to be bothered too badly, but it's, uh, it's still just not something you want. Uh, what I ended up with here was Royal Guard. Didn't really rack up too many kills. He had a lot of ammunition left, is the thing. I and a lot of their, you know, they they were killing a few of the dragon knights in the end. So that was that's okay. I'll always probably take because I I like having an archer general. It's it's kind of just the the way that I like to play. So they're they're always a pretty solid pick for me. I think. I just I should go. I should try to make sure I always use up their ammo a bit more. I think my I need to maybe rework their positioning in my army so that they are in range a little bit more to try and to try and you know because they still had most of their ammo left when they went down. Uh, the pikes, yeah, the pikes were were a big like part of my killing power. Um, they weren't really going up against enemy pikes, so that was that was fair. Royal Legion of Armena lost. They got stuck in nice and early. Uh, they killed a lot of Mar uh, infantry. That's what a lot of that those kills were for. But they they still did good. I'm I'm I'm, I'm very happy with them. Seavers of Nendamos. I they received a nasty charge, so they weren't able to use much of the. Well, they received two really. Once when they were in melee, and once just before. So they weren't able to use like as much of their actual melee potential. But as I said, I should have used more of their volleys against the Dragon Knights. Uh, just even just having them as a sign of like, hey, I've still got ammunition, would have probably scared his Dragon Knights from being able to charge me as freely as he did. All the Roman infantry did good. You know, they they were they did get a bit pin cushioned, but they were easily able to go. Oh wow, look at that! Exactly, kill for kill. Uh, that's cool. Never really seen that. Um, but yeah, so they, they I'm, I'm comfortable with, with how they all did. Uh, the Belagar archers, yeah, great. He just he just let me shoot his Eastern Warriors, which unshielded guys, they they're always even cheap archers. You'll you'll rack up a few kills with. And the Romana Bowman, um, they did rack up a lot of kills. I um, 
Yeah, I think I lit off a volley onto the back of a black guard unit, which that was a big waste of ammunition, but that definitely got them a few kills. And then they, they, they're really good at melee, so, so that's the way that, that would have gone down. One of the footmen did good. Uh, the other one, yeah, as I say, the footmen are there to defend off Cav and protect against my protect my archers in the early game. As far as the nobles, for all the crap talking I've just given them, they did rack up a lot of kills. Um, they did wipe out the unit of South Anis Rem. I think maybe I was just... Because the only time that they really were killed was when they were dealing with the Melkor's Chosen or when they were under they were they were under constant arrow fire so i don't know no no i think i think i'm getting ahead of myself i i think that they did okay to be honest i just think that they were they were really taking a lot of arrow fire and um and the milk was chosen uh, you know just just mopped them up so yeah it was a fun battle but definitely that was on and and flas yeah and flas yeah uh so Played on that before, but I like it. Uh, anything else I want to run by? Yeah, like I see, I, I made a few mistakes for sure. Um, I I like Numenor, I like them a lot, but uh, they're not they're not one of my like go to competitive factions. I wouldn't say. I think they definitely could be if I if I just kind of crack the remain of Bowman, and um, you know, I think I think that I could definitely I think I could definitely come to like them. Um, I do miss crossbows though. But yeah, thank you very much.